Hi everyone, I'm Daniel and welcome to How to Meditate for Anxiety. Now, I'm very excited to be sharing something magical with you. It's called the Enlighten Me Machine. It's a frequency generator that we're going to work with in this video. Now, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about anxiety. Now, it's something that I've suffered pretty much my entire life. And it wasn't till I brought this into existence that I've been able to heal it. It always kind of eluded me. Now, one of the big causes of anxiety is the trauma that we've experienced as a child. So our childhood trauma. Now, most of us don't actually take the steps to heal childhood trauma. So it sits within us. It sits within our consciousness. It sits within the cells of our body. And whenever we relive a situation that matches where our trauma came from as a child, anything kind of resembling where the trauma came from, bang, the anxiety kicks in and we go into this, this fight, flight or freeze mode. So healing trauma is a massive part. If you want to get rid of anxiety, healing trauma is, is your ultimate path. But we're not going to deal with that one today. We'll deal with healing trauma in another video. So this anxiety, if you look at the nervous system, now the body Okay, the cells of our body is this incredible recording system. When we have experiences, especially negative experiences, traumatic experiences, where we're thrown into shock, into fear, and we go into this fight, flight, freeze response, it actually gets stored throughout our body. The mind holds these memories inside the cells of our body. Now, what that does is it creates, ages the body, it creates illness in the body, but it actually creates reactions. Anxiety is that reaction, is that fear. Now, a lot of the things that cause our anxiety today are actually thoughts, ideas, beliefs, decisions, experiences that we have saved inside our nervous system. Now, as I said, we are storing thoughts and beliefs in every part of our body. We have tons, thousands throughout the body, in our eyes, in our teeth, that creates our teeth decay, eyesight degeneration. Um, we have thoughts and beliefs that are stuck that cause cancers and arthritis. But we have a whole bunch of thoughts and beliefs, limiting self-beliefs, or these negative beliefs that are stuck within the nervous system. So in terms of meditating to heal anxiety, I'm going to take you on a slightly different path. What we're going to do, we're going to use meditation for healing and we're using the Enlighten Me. Now, I'm in a moment, I'm going to get you to start a nice rhythmic breath. All right, it's going to help calm our nervous system because that's one of the most important things. We have to adjust our physiology. The minute we feel anxiety, we've got to check in with ourselves and go, are we in that fight, flight or freeze response? How, how can we bring our body into being calm? So breath work beautiful starting point when we want to deal with anxiety, especially when we're meditating. So we're going to go into, into breathing in a second. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Enlighten Me, the frequency to connect to you. Okay. It's pretty amazing. Frequencies are beyond space and time, especially this frequency. We're going to connect to you and I'm going to help bring to awareness what we've got stuck in the nervous system. And as we bring that to the awareness, the EM frequency also allows that to heal out, pull that out, draw that out of the cells of our body, bring that out of the nervous system. This is what's so amazing. It actually pulls things out of the body. It's the exact frequency that helps heal that out. So when you hear me say these beliefs, these thoughts, this is not an affirmation. These are not truth. These are what we call non-truth or beliefs. And it's the non-truth that harms the body. The body's constantly trying to bring us back into alignment with truth. And whenever we think something, believe something that is not truth, the body's like, whoa, what are you doing? This is going to affect your life. This is going to cause havoc. Get it out. Get it out. This is a pollutant. It's a toxin. So that's why they're called self-limiting beliefs, because they actually limit how we think how the body functions, what we're able to create in our life, and how our brain actually works. The brain is responding to all these programs. So we want to get these self-limiting beliefs out of the way, right? This is exactly what the Enlighten Me does. So what we're going to do, and this is how I meditate. I don't just necessarily sit there in complete silence and do nothing. Most of my meditations are purposeful. They're about going into particular parts of myself, my body, or the subconscious mind, 
to heal. And that's what I'm going to take you through today. We're going to do a meditation for anxiety. All right. So let's get into our nice breath work. I like to go into rhythmic breath. So we do breathing in for four, hold for four, and out for four. Okay, let's do that together. So breathing in for four, hold for four, and out for four. And how lucky are we to be on beautiful Hamilton Island meditating for anxiety. Pretty special, hey? Very lucky. So let's keep our rhythmic breath going. So breathing in for four, hold for four, and out for four. Now you can choose to do this with your eyes closed or eyes open, totally up to you. You could do the first one, just looking at me and just getting familiar with the process, totally fine. But what's really important is of course that you're sitting somewhere comfortable, you're not going to get interrupted and you're just able to fully give yourself over to this process. So if you're not in a comfortable position yet, get yourself in that and let's continue our beautiful breath work. So again, breathing in for four, hold for four and out for four. Great. You're doing an awesome job. Okay, so while you keep that breath work going, I'm going to get this frequency coming out of the EM here, the Enlighten Me machine, and we're going to bring that into a beautiful space and connect you to that and connect your body to that. You might feel that coming in right now as we're talking. And we're spreading that frequency to you and everyone who's watching. And that's the beauty when you start tapping into the intelligence of the universe, which is what we do here at Intuition Wisdom. The impossible becomes possible. We can achieve anything. And that's what we're doing today. We've been able to bring together an exact frequency for healing. So we're using the Enlighten Me frequency to raise our own vibrational frequency. As we raise our vibrational frequency, that's a massive step in our healing and our manifesting. Okay. Lots. We could talk about that all day. But let's get back to our breath work. So breathing in for four, hold for four, and out for four. Now I'm going to start focusing this energy into your nervous system. So you can keep your eyes closed if you like. And as you hear me say these beliefs out loud, I'm bringing them to the awareness so they can be released. And as I say them, you could visualize them leaving you, leaving your body, leaving the nervous system, leaving the mind into the sun or going into a black hole. Okay. Just visualize them if that helps. Either way, this frequency is pulling them out of you. Okay. Trust the process. We've been doing this for a long time and we've been creating miracles with this, this little helper here. Let's go. All right. So the first thing that we're going to pull out of the nervous system is the belief. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. Now, of course, holding a belief, I'm not safe in the nervous system is going to make our nervous system very hypersensitive, isn't it? That makes sense. So first one, our first practice go, releasing that. I'm not safe. Pulling that out of the body. Visualizing that leaving into the sun. I'm not safe. Okay. Beautiful. That was your first one. Well done. You'll already be feeling lighter. I feel lighter. I'm pulling stuff out of me as I'm helping you too. Okay. So the next clearing we're going to do, the next self-limiting belief that we're pulling out of you is people are harmful for me. Okay. People are harmful for me. Pulling that out. People are harmful. Next one. People are dangerous. If we see people as dangerous, we're going to have anxiety, isn't it? Aren't we? People are dangerous. Okay. Next belief we're pulling out. I'm not safe in this world. I'm not safe in this world. I'm not safe in this world. Another belief is I'm a danger to myself. I'm a danger to myself. I can't be trusted. 
pulling that out of the body. I can't be trusted. Good work. Now, some of these beliefs might be familiar to you. You might go, yes, I've got that. Some of them may not, but just keep trusting the process. A lot of these things we've pushed so deep, we don't even know that they're there. But whilst we hold on to them, they create a lot of anxiety for us. And to heal them, to remove them, you'll find a huge shift in your anxiety levels. There's nothing there to aggravate the nervous system, okay? So let's keep healing this. Next big one we're going to heal out of everyone's nervous system today is I have to be frightened of life. I have to be frightened of life. Another one, people are dangerous. Okay, some of these repeat sometimes just because we need to go a little bit deeper from another angle. This one's showing up again. People are dangerous. Another big one here is I can't be trusted to make the right decision. I can't be trusted to make the right decision. Now that will definitely create anxiety. Beautiful, releasing that, visualizing that one leaving as well. Okay, another big one that wants to be healed from the body is I have to run from my life. I have to run from my life. It's going to create the flight response, that belief. I have to run from my life, clearing that out of our body. Good work. Okay, ready for the next one? I have to hide from life. I have to hide from life. Another one creating that light response. I have to hide from life, clearing that out of your nervous system. Beautiful. Another one coming up here is, I have to fight my way out of this. I have to fight my way out of this. I have to fight life. It's all part of the same. I have to fight life. I have to fight my way out of this, clearing that out of the body. Okay, next big one coming through here is to clear. I'm not safe when I'm calm. I'm not safe when I'm calm. Clearing that one, I'm not safe when I'm calm. Another one, I'm not safe alone. I'm not safe alone. Okay, great. Let's keep going. I can't sit still or I'll be in danger. I can't sit still or I'll be in danger. Mm. Another big one here. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. That's going to stir the nervous system, isn't it? I'm running out of time. Clearing that out of the body. Good work. Next one. Life is threatening. Life is threatening. Life is threatening. Now, of course, these come from when we were children. Our parents said certain things or our school teachers said certain things. We learned from watching people in our life and we took these on board as if they were our truth. But they're not. They're limiting beliefs and they're causing anxiety and they cause all kinds of problems. That's why they're called self-limiting beliefs. So let's clear that out. Next one that wants to come through is... I'm going to die soon. I'm going to die soon. I'm going to die soon. Another big one there is I'm already dying. The belief I'm already dying. Hmm. Big one. Another one here that we're going to start to finish up on is to do with the money. Money causes a lot of anxiety for people. More to the point, running out of money. So let's look at that. 
I'm running out of money. I'm running out of money. I'm running out of money, healing that out of the body. Mm. Another one similar to that is I'm losing money. That's going to cause anxiety. I'm losing money. I'm losing my money. Clearing that. I'm losing my money. Now, these are not affirmations. You don't need to worry. I'm not putting them into your subconscious. We are taking them out. That's what this frequency does. Okay, we're releasing them. And, you know, part of the, one of the biggest steps in healing is acknowledging what's there. Okay, the body wants us to acknowledge what's been trapped and hidden inside the mind and the body all this time. Doesn't want us to avoid it. Doesn't want us to push it down. Speak it out. Okay, bring it to the awareness. That's one of the big steps the Enlighten Me does. But it also pulls it out too. Okay, a couple more to go and then we'll finish up. Another big one in the nervous system is... I'm stuck. I'm stuck and things will never get better. I'm stuck and things will never get better. Things will never improve. Things will stay the same. And that one's a big cause of depression as well, that one. I'm stuck and things will never improve. Things will never get better. So just pulling that one out, letting it go, seeing it's just a thought, it's just a puff of energy. Release it. It's not a truth. It's not hardwired into your brain. Just energy that we've held on and said, that's me. So it stayed. That's my truth. So it stayed in the nervous system. Let it go. One more for our meditating for anxiety. What's this nice, deep, big one here we're going to pull out? Big one here. I can't survive this. I can't survive this. Clearing that, visualizing that coming all the way out. I can't survive this. Obviously, saying that to ourselves, albeit subconsciously, going to create a lot of anxiety. I can't survive this. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. I'm Daniel. It's been a pleasure to work with the Enlighten Me with you guys. If you want to know more, check in the description about Enlighten Me. We're going to do lots more videos on group healing, so please subscribe so you can keep getting all the notifications about when we release new videos, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.